Good morning, happy people. How are you doing? It is Sunday, so today we're going to do our devotion. Hold on a sec while I notify my text live group. If you're not a part of that, make sure you say text so you can get the notifications if you're not getting it on Facebook. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. How has your week been today, my little sugar booger? How has your week been? If it's not been so great, let's go ahead and meditate in the Lord. If it's been pretty amazing, we can still give God all the thanks. Thank you. Hallelujah. All right. Um, so today we are going to, because I know I got off subject last Sunday and kind of went into don't give the enemy a seat at your table from Louis Giglio. But today we're going to do 100 Days of Life Changing Confidence. Come say hey. Or give me a hashtag replay if you're watching later. I still need it. I still need it. Today, we're going to talk about being renewed. Being renewed. You know, sometimes things get old. Sometimes things don't feel like they feel like they're, monot they're monotonous, right? Like they're same old, same old every day. Or sometimes we just feel like we're too past gone or too messed up, whatever that looks like for you, um, to receive a blessing from the Lord. But that's not what God says. So come say hey. The scripture reading, if you want to go ahead and read the full scripture, is 2 Corinthians 5. It's the whole scripture uh, passage, okay? Um, but we're going to read today's message. It says, when I decided to live wholeheartedly for Christ, I assumed I would suddenly just have it all together. Um, and maybe some of us all have felt that way. Like, oh man, like maybe when I can stop doing this. I'll live for Christ, but that's not what Christ tells us to do, right? So unfortunately, the traces of old me still lingered. Unfortunately, um, some struggles took weeks to overcome while others took months and still a few, they took years. It can feel discouraging when we're not where we thought that we would be yet, right? I know I do all the time, but let's face it. If we could have changed ourselves without God, we would have, right? If we could have changed what we had an issue with, we would have. Becoming all that God has called us to be is a process. And that's the thing we got to remember. Replacing our old ways in order to emulate Christ is a lifelong process called sanctification. I love this, okay? I have heard sanctification my whole life. And it was a church lingo I never understood until I got older. So sanctification is literally meaning that through your lifelong process, every day you're being sanctified and renewed in Christ okay and it's not something we can do on our own strength it is going to be through the work of the Holy Spirit this renewal is rewarding but it is not always rapid and can we get an amen that's like life in general most things that are rewarding are not an instantaneous thing although we're being renewed by God we're still active participants in the pro in the process in the progress whatever you want to call it it is a partnership where our rate of renewal is being determined by our level of reliance. Oh, that sounded good. I need to say that again. Okay. It is a partnership where our rate of being renewed is determined by our level of reliance. The more that you participate, the more you're going to be renewed. Oops. I need to call him back. Maddie! Come here! Um, find out what Pastor Johnny needed for me. Tell him I'm on a live and that, yes, we do need to be picked up today. Thank you. I'm sorry. I hung up on him and I do not want to hang up on him because he is my ride right tonight, today. <laughs> um, okay. So this means that any area that we're not seeing God's power move through is an area that we have yet to surrender to him. So let's say that I have issues in finances or I have issues in temper or I have issues in enter the blank here. That's where I'm not surrendering it up to God. And that's be that's why it's not working in that area. Does that make sense? That sounds so good to me. I literally got goosebumps. Like, I'm going to go back and read this, I think. I really am. All right. Yeah? Well, he said he's going to come, I think, a little early or something because Jiggy's sick and she's going to go drive to the church. Oh, well, that's her heart. Okay. 
I'm going to have to hurry this up, y'all. Our bride's coming early today. So the good news is we can find strength in just surrendering everything up to God, the things that we have the most issues with. When we strive in our own strength, we stall the process. We prolong it, okay? But when we rely on God's strength, His presence is what supplies us with everything that we need to become on who we're called to be. Okay, so remember that if you are having an issue here, don't put your hands on it. Let God work on it because he is going to strengthen you to be the best that you can be in that situation. So 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, This means that anyone who belongs in Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Just because you're not seeing it in the tangible, in the in the physical does not mean you are not a new creature. You are a new creature. Your new day begins today and every day that you surrender to him. So you might have messed up yesterday. You might have messed up five seconds ago. It's okay. There's still grace. There's still sanctification. And God will renew us through that progression of relying upon him. Okay. Can we get an amen? So our declaration today is I am renewed by God. He has given me a new life in Christ. I am confident that God has changed me and I will continue to make me and he will continue to make me look more like him every day. Thank you, Lord. We accept that. Help us to remember we're being renewed daily, that this is a process and we can't be perfect starting this out, that we got to do it messy in order for you to clean up the mess and turn it into a message. That's why I am not embarrassed to say I'm a hot mess most days because a hot mess means God's going to take that hot mess and make it into a freaking amazing message to give him glory for his name and I will take it. So now we got to hurry up and get ready. Good morning. How are you doing? Natalie, did y'all like that? If y'all like those devotions, make sure you continue to stay tuned and come follow and stick around with me and come say hey on Sundays or Mondays because sometimes we don't always do it on Sundays and now that our ride is coming early we gotta push it into hyperdrive poor Miss Vicky ain't feeling well today Natalie how are you feeling how was you feeling today my friend taking our special little shortcut we're gonna take our BB or CC cream remember we got new formula I'm gonna mix it together with my illuminating primer to give me a pretty a pretty glow and that glow is going to be our base and then we're going to just bump it up a little bit in coverage because your girl's got some hyperpigmentation if you have hyperpigmentation make sure you use one of my favorite lines and it is called um something that i never remember <laughs> uh, i'm just kidding it's like daphne if you can't remember how am i supposed to remember i don't know it's called lumi radiance it's the brightening line, and this helps with hyperpigmentation and brightening your skin. Hot mess turn cool, cool method. <laughs> but you know what? I don't even say that a hot mess is a cool message. You want to know why? Because we're called not to be lukewarm for God. We got to be running hot for God. You know what I'm saying? He don't like no cold or lukewarm stuff. He wants us to be on fire for him. Can I get an amen? So I can still be hot. <laughs> We could still run hot for God. <laughs> oh, just totally different. Just a totally different uh, results, right? <laughs> Instead of falling apart, we're falling together <laughs> for God. <laughs> we're coming together for him. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm laughing like a straight up goofy movie today. I'm like, <laughs> I got to get my collagen coffee in today because that's the only way I can bump this up and speed this up. Y'all know I like to take my time. Does anybody else like to take their time and not really rush? Like, it just helps you. Like, it's not necessarily that you're slow on everything, but you kind of like just, especially in the mornings, you like to just kind of take your time, get your bearings, kind of soak in the day. And I just feel like it sets the tone for the rest of the day. And even if your day started off rushed or crazy, you know what's cool about God? We can rest in him and meditate in him in any time and place. And I think that's the issue with a lot of us that face anxiety. A lot of times we don't take a minute to stop and breathe and just sit. And sometimes the longer you do sit, the longer you have to deal with emotions and overthinking that comes with that. But what God does is when we meditate in him, we start focusing on the things that he does. The gratitude, the promises he made us, and that takes our 
focus and shifts our focus away from the things we can't control to the things that he controls, right? Like we said, he makes it work through the process. So that's the things that I encourage people who deal with anxiety. It's not necessarily that you always worry about things. It's not necessarily that you're always nervous all the time about stuff. It's literally your body doesn't slow down and it overthinks things. So sometimes you have to command it to by taking captive the thoughts, no matter if they're good or bad, and submitting them to God and focusing, choosing to focus on something different or turning down the lights and not being overstimulated. A lot of times people that deal with autism and depression and anxiety deal with information overload and auditory issues. And so turning down those lights, turning on the worship music, just soaking in his presence instead of feeling like you got to do something to change it. Can we get an amen? Can we get an amen? might want to pack a makeup bag. I may need to pack a makeup bag. <laughs> I have one kind of already packed, but uh, you're right. I probably need to think about it a little bit more. I'm going to do that and that. And if we cut this short, guys, just know that I will follow up with y'all throughout the day and say hey and follow up with you with some questions that I want y'all to answer with me because we're going to be doing some giveaways coming up soon. So make sure that you are responding to polls that I send out this week. I want to make sure that all my friends and here on the Speckled Cactus are getting all of the tutorials they need, all of the information they might be looking for, for encouragement for the day, all the things. Even if you don't wear makeup, you got to take care of yourself through self-care in many different ways. And I just pray that you have an amazing day today. I pray you have an amazing day today. Let me know how your week has been. Let me know how it's been. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pencil. Because we got to fill in all those bridles soon. And I'm about to put on my dang shoes. About to put on these dang shoes. My husband, he cut the lawn yesterday. Thank the Lord. But we still got to sharpen those lawnmower blades. And it is like a straight up pile in our yard that we probably have to rake. That's how bad our lawn was from all this rain. So, Maddie, ask him if he's already on his way. Ask him if he's already on his way so I can make sure I know how much time I got. He said 20 after? All right. All right, friends and family. We're about to go so that I can make sure I am ready when he gets here. I love you. Don't forget to have an amazing day today. Remember that God works through you and that he will work through you if you're struggling with a lot of things going on this week. I'll talk to y'all later.